This video covers peak load outputs in Sapphira architecture and Sapphira systems. You can see the peak load outputs on the tab on the right hand side of the screen. Peak loads are the largest heating or cooling loads in the space on an annual basis. More specifically, it's the total heat that needs to be added or removed from a space on a worst case design day in order to maintain the set point temperature. So why are they important? Well, peak loads often drive the sizing of HVAC systems and components, so reducing peaks can result in smaller, cheaper systems or a greater range of system options. The interface that you see here is designed to help you quickly understand where the highest peak loads in the building are and what the top contributors are to the loads in that zone, so you can quickly identify what to change uh, to bring the peak loads down. So in this case, I can see the peak loads on a floor-by-floor -floor basis, and I can expand any one of those floors uh, to dive in and see the peak loads on a zone-by-zone -zone basis. Now in this case, you can see that I have used room-by-room -room zoning, where I've set up uh, custom zoning in my model. Um, obviously, the zoning that you choose will impact um, how many zones are seen here and the peak loads analysis that you see. Now if I scroll through the zones, I can quickly see that zone 11 here on the west side of the building appears to have the highest peak cooling load. And if I click on that, I can expand it further and I can see that the largest loads contributing to cooling in this zone are solar gain, glazing conduction, and lighting gain. And so this helps me very quickly diagnose what the problem is. In this case, solar gain is the biggest contributor, so I could look at adding shading to that zone or changing the glazing, perhaps is too much glass, or the properties of that glass. You can also mark any zone over a certain threshold. That threshold is set to 32 by default, but you could change it to whatever you want. Let's change that down to 20, so you can see that it will flag for me any floor that has a peak uh, zone with a load over uh, 20, and if I expand it, it will flag for me any zone uh, that is over that threshold. And that allows you, for some systems where uh, that threshold may be important, you can very quickly identify where the problematic areas are. And similarly, the zone with the highest load is identified at the top of the screen. So in this case, it actually is that zone 11 that we were looking at earlier. So far, we've just been looking at peak cooling loads. Uh, we can do the same analysis on peak heating loads, where we can, you know, again, look on a floor by floor basis, a zone by zone basis, and we can, you know, expand uh, individual zones to see the contributors to the loads in that zone. One final note here, you are able to look at the peak loads either on an area weighted basis, which is the default, and that's what we've been looking at so far, or on an absolute basis, uh, if you'd like to know the absolute levels of peak loads in the various zones. And that's how to use the peak loads tab to identify and diagnose contributors to your peak heating and cooling loads.